What's good YouTube, it's Jason Laces here, back at you with another video. So we're coming to the end of February guys and March is coming up. So today I'm going to be going over the sneaker releases for March 2019. I'm going to go over my personal thoughts and opinions on the shoes and sneaker releases and if it's going to be a cop or a drop for me. Now February, February was a hot month guys. February had a lot of good stuff in it. I want to say like every other day they were dropping in like a fire sneaker in February. So February was... We had a lot of heat come out in this short month of February. And now with March coming up, March is looking kind of dry. It's not going to uphold to what February brought us. But we're going to go over it right now. So let's get into it. Make sure if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit that like button. And make sure you hit that notification bell so you guys can get notified when I post a new video. Alright, so starting off with March 1st, tomorrow, we got the Nike Air Max 97 Dallas colorway. Now this shoe's pretty clean. I like the colorway on this 97 that they're doing. This Air Max 97 is part of Nike's City Pride collection with this pair representing Dallas, Texas. You know, we got white, black, green, and then that hit of crimson. It's a pretty clean colorway. I like the shoe a lot. Now also paying homage to Dallas, we got a triple D logo on the tongues of the shoe. And then also has area codes on the pole tabs on the back. Now it's a pretty clean shoe. I, li I like the shoe a lot. Will I be copying? Probably not. It's probably going to be a drop for me. Unless, you know, I could catch it somewhere on sale or something, I'd cop it. But for me, I'm going to say it's a drop. But it's a clean shoe and I like it. So if you guys like it, then you for sure go ahead and pick it up. All right, up next, also coming out tomorrow, we got the Air Jordan 1 Low Women's Slip Chicago. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I don't know about these guys. That's so... Um, it's a women's only, so I better not be seeing no dudes rocking these, that's for sure. And if you're a woman and you're wearing these, I hope you got them for like 20 bucks because these things retail at $100. They are not worth $100. I can see it now already. These things are going to the outlets. They're going to hit in the outlets. And they're going to go and sell. They're going to go on the wall. They're going to be like $19.99. It's going to be like 30% off. So if you can catch it then... Then I'm going to go ahead and pick it up. Then for like 15 bucks, it's a nice pickup, you know. But do not spend $100 on this shoe. That is a trash shoe. That is a drop for me, fam. Also, coming out on March 1st, we got the Adidas T-Mac 1s. Now, these shoes is dope. I like that they're retroing and bringing back the T-Mac shoes. T-Mac was dope back in the day. He was one of my favorite players. And I think it's really cool that Adidas is bringing back his shoe. I would really like to see Adidas bring back a lot of other retro basketball shoes that they had in the past, like the retro Kobe's and other things like that. But yeah, I like the T-Max. I think it's a pretty clean shoe. I think it's cool that Adidas is bringing them back. They will retail for $160. And it looks like they're coming out with a white and blue colorway and then also a black and blue colorway. Now, will I be copying? It's a possibility. I'm not going to go cop it tomorrow on release day. I'm going to say that these things, they, they might sit. Honestly, I think they will, probably. Maybe they won't. You know, so if they go on sale and I can catch them for the low, then yes, I'm going to go ahead and say that's going to be a cop. Just because it's the T-Max and you know I like T-Max, so it'll be cool to have a shoe. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and say that that one is a cop. Now, getting on to March 2nd. On March 2nd, we got the Air Jordan 4 Flight Nostalgia. Now, this shoe retails for $190. And guys, I'm I'm not feeling this colorway. The shoe just... I don't know who's made, I don't know who's coming up with the colorways and the designs and who's coming up with the ideas up at Nike and Jordan Brand. But this shoe just is not it for me. I'm not feeling it. I'm not digging it. That white leather... It's not even like a tumble leather. It's not like a regular flat leather that we see on Air Jordan 4s. It honestly looks like someone crumpled up a piece of paper and threw it on the shoe. And then as far as the designing on the midsole and the wings, that just looks, that's not it for me. That's, I don't know what's going on there. I don't know why Jordan Brand made this shoe and is dropping this shoe. This thing is gonna sit. It's gonna sit. I'm saying it right now. Most likely this shoe is just gonna sit for days for weeks, for months, it's gonna be sitting. Yeah, that's a drop for me, fam. I will not be picking up that shoe. I'm gonna go ahead and say the Air Jordan 4 Flight Nostalgia, that's gonna be a drop. And then also coming out on March 2nd, we got the Nike Air Flight Posit NYX colorway. These retail at $200, and they're not bad. I like them. It's not a bad shoe. I like the NYX colorway that they put on it. Now, will I be copying the shoe? Probably not. There's other shoes I'd rather get for $200 if I'm being honest. But yeah, the Nike Air Fly Posit NYX, not a bad shoe. If you guys want it, I think you should go out and cop it. But for me, I'm gonna go ahead and say it's a drop. And also coming out on March 2nd, we got the Nike LeBron 16 Low Safari colorway. 
This shoe retails at $175. And I'm sorry, but that shoe was ugly. Like, I am not feeling that shoe whatsoever. I don't know what they were thinking with that shoe. Or I know what they were thinking with that shoe. They were trying to bring back the Air Max 1 Safari, but I do not like that shoe. That shoe is very ugly. Be dropping, that is for sure. That is 100% drop. I'm not even that shoe. I would even pick it up for $20. It's like a mixture between an Air Max 1 and a LeBron 16. And then they threw some like animal prints on it. Yeah, that's a no for me, fam. That's a drop. All right, so coming out on March 7th, we got the Air Jordan 33 Vast Gray. The shoe retails for $175. And um, that's a that's a drop for me. The shoe just looks way too plain for me. I'm not really feeling that colorway. I don't like it that much. If I was gonna cop some Air Jordan 33s, I would definitely cop it in a different colorway. I'm just not feeling this colorway. It looks very plain. We just got that vast gray and like sale colorways all over the shoe yeah i'm not feeling that so i'm gonna go ahead and say drop and then going on to march 9th we got the air jordan 9 dream it do it colorway this shoe retails for 190 dollars and i'm not even gonna lie it's a pretty clean shoe i like it i like the air jordan 9 dream it do it colorway that shoe's looking nice i like how um each shoe is different colors they're not both identical they got different colors on each shoe the theme of the shoe and the colorway is actually inspired by the Dream It Do It clothing line that Nike had back in the 90s. So it's got that 90s feels to it, and that's what I like about the shoe. Now will I be copying the shoe on release day? No, I'm not going to be copying the shoe. Now if I can catch the shoe for on sale, and if I can get it for the low, then yeah, I'll go ahead and cop it. But for right now, it's just going to be a drop for me. Now on March 15th, we got the Air Jordan 6 Millennial Pink, and this is a women's only, I'm pretty sure. It says women's on the shoe, so I'm guessing it's a women's exclusive, which I don't know why any guys would want to rock this shoe anyways. It's all pink. It's an all pink Jordan 6 with like a milky translucent outsole. And then we also got those crimson hits on the shoe. Now that's a pretty nice shoe. It's a pretty clean. I like it. If you're a lady, then I go, I think you should go ahead and cop that shoe. It's pretty nice. Will it be a cop for me? No, because I'm not a woman and I don't wear that kind of stuff. But if you're a girl and you like Jordan 6s and you're feeling this colorway, I say go ahead and cop. Oh yeah, and it retails for $190. And now on March 16th, guys, we got the Air Jordan 1 Retro High OG Cell University Red. Now I can tell you guys right now that that's gonna be a drop for me. I'm not feeling this shoe like at all. Yeah, I don't really like that colorway. I like the Air Jordan 1 highs, but I don't like that colorway that much. Just that cell color is with that red. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not feeling it, guys. But if you're feeling it, then hey, go ahead and cop them. They're probably going to sell out just because it's a Jordan 1. Jordan 1, be, they be going, they be hyped right now. You know, everybody be buying Jordan 1s, every color. Yeah, so those release on March 16th, they retail for $160, but it's going to be a drop for me. Now, also on March 16th, we got the Off-White Times Nike Air Max 97. This shoe retails for $190. It's a pretty cool color, I guess. To me, it's not anything super special. You know, it's gonna sell out. It's probably gonna resell for hundreds of dollars over retail, which I don't think is, it's not, it's not worth that much to me. I mean, it's pretty cool. Will I cop it? No, I probably won't even get the chance to cop it. So I'm gonna go ahead and say that's a drop just because I have no chance of getting it and I'm not gonna pay no crazy resale price for it. Now, coming out on March 30th, we got the Air Jordan 3 Tinker White and University Red colorway. This shoe retails for $200. I like the colorway on this shoe. This Air Jordan 3 colorway is fire. I'm liking it. I like that colorway. It's fresh. It's clean. It's dope. I'm not feeling that swoosh on the side though. I don't like the swoosh on the side. Like Nike, why do you have to do that to me? Why'd you have to go ahead and throw a swoosh on the side of that shoe? The shoe would be so much more clean if they just didn't throw that swoosh on the side. If they didn't have the swoosh on the side, I'd go ahead and say cop. But since they threw a swoosh on the side, that ruins the shoe for me. So I would not be copying. That's gonna be a drop for me. And then lastly guys, we got the Air Jordan 13 Atmosphere Gray. These also released on March 30th and they retail for $190. Now that shoe's gonna be a drop for me. Now we just got an Air Jordan 13 that's just white and two different shades of gray with some black thorn on there. Uh, yeah, that's gonna be a drop for me. That shoe is just too plain for me. I'm not really feeling it. I don't like all that gray going on. It just looks kind of, looks like it belongs in like a black and white movie. So I'm not feeling it. That's gonna be a drop for me. But if you like the shoe, then by all means, go out and buy it, so. But yeah, guys, that pretty much wraps up all the releases for the month of March for right now. You know, that's all we know that's coming out so far, you know. Some other stuff might pop up in the future. 
I guess we'll have to wait and see. But for right now, March is looking like a really dry month. Like February was a lot of heat and March is a lot of nothing. So honestly, for the month of March, I don't think I'm going to be picking up any of these releases that's going to be coming out. Honestly, I think I'm just going to try to pick up some releases that came out February that I missed and I'd like to go back and pick up now. But yeah guys, so that was my cup of drop for the releases of the month of March. Let me know if you guys like these kind of videos. You know, if I get a likes and comments on this video, then I'll continue doing this in the future. Like I'll do releases for the month of April and the month of May and so on. So hit that like button if you like the video. Let me know in the comment section down below if you guys like the video and would like to see more in the future. But as always guys, thank you for watching this video. I really do appreciate it. Hit that subscribe button if you guys have not subscribed to my channel yet. Hit that like button. Hit that notification bell so you guys can get notified when I post a new video. Until next time guys, I'm Jason's Laces.